What's up guys, Sal here. So Apple is in big, big trouble. That could cost them a market worth $44 billion and could bring down the worldwide iPhone sales by a massive 30%. You see, to make a smartphone successful, you need good specs, features, a good design, and an appropriate price tag. But importantly, you also need an app ecosystem. Just ask Microsoft, Windows phones were some of the amazing handsets we had, but it lacked a good app ecosystem, and that's why it failed miserably. If consumers don't get their favorite apps, then there's no point for them to buy that particular phone. And unfortunately, Apple has found itself in the very same situation. As some of you might have heard, the US government is considering banning apps such as WeChat in their ongoing trade war with China. If you don't know, WeChat has more than a billion users and is the single most important app in China. Without it, phones would be useless to the overwhelming majority of Chinese residents. Most of the celebrities in China have a WeChat official account like how Westerners use Instagram. Also, all the enterprises, local or international, use their WeChat official account for business. WeChat also contains WeChat Pay in the same app, which is used to make payments, send money, purchase train tickets, and so on. It isn't just a messaging service, it's basically like a whole operating system. So losing the app of this magnitude effectively kills a lot of functionality of a phone to Chinese people and a lot of Asians in general. In fact, in a survey made on Weibo with more than 1.2 million responses show that 95% of Chinese iPhone owners would switch from Apple to another smartphone brand rather than give up WeChat. Amazing how WeChat became the very oxygen for Chinese consumer to breathe. There's no way they'll ditch WeChat, not now, if ever. So Apple has found themselves in a very ugly situation here and they can't do much about it either, other than convincing Trump to not make it happen, which from Trump's response is not gonna happen. During a press conference with reporters at the White House today, Trump was asked about the implication of the WeChat ban by Bloomberg correspondent. Here's how it went. Yeah, please. Thanks, Mr. President. I had two, one on China and then one on oil. The first one on China. Uh, there's a lot of alarm among American companies about your order on WeChat, Apple, Ford, Disney. They're worried because it's such a big communications platform and a payment platform in China that if you ban U.S. businesses from working with them, that they won't be able to sell, you know, iPhones into China or, or similar markets. Whatever. So you don't mind if, if this... Want to do what's good in terms of the security of our country? So, we've, been, we've been very badly let down by China. What's your next question? Apple actually got in touch with Trump administration, warning that the consequences of this ban would be severe. But judging from Trump's response, it seems he doesn't even care. Analyst Ming Chi Kuo says that iPhone sales will drop by a massive 30% worldwide as a result of this. Apple sold over 230 million iPhones last year, so that's about 70 million drop in sales. Not only that, sales of AirDrops, iPad, Apple Watch, and Mac computers may fall 15 to 25%, according to Kuo, which is enough to put a massive dent in their revenue. China is the most important international market for Apple, a market worth $44 billion for them, and with one executive order, Trump may have actually made it worth almost nothing. Anyway, let me know what you think about this down in the comments, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.